welcome back. It is I, Shansi, aka Miss Boom Boom Room. Uh, welcome back to my channel today, guys. I have missed you so much. Like, Halloween is like almost here. I'm so excited. Anyway, I decided to do a look today. I wanted to do a pretty blue makeup look because I was feeling this blue uh, wrap I had on today and I can't decide if, it, if I'm a Halloween costume or if I'm just a diva I don't know which one I am. this is the makeup look I decided to go with and Guys, please be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new welcome I love the newbies keep watching this video if you want to see how I got this look I, don't have I love you guys so I did uh, already do one side of my face, so this is the eye look that I'll be completing today. I did my brows and I also put some concealer on my eyelids just to prime them for the shadows. So what I'll be using first is this uh, matte brown shade that I got from Ibby Beauty for my BoxyCharm for October. And that will be my transition color. And I'm putting that right below my brow bone. Um, next, I'll be using, um, if you can't see, these are the Luxie Beauty brushes I also got from BoxyCharm. They are blending brushes, and I'll be applying a shimmery navy blue color in my crease, right underneath that first transition color. And then I'll be using a bright blue on my lids, and just kind of packing that color all over the lids. As you can see here, Okay, and I'm just going back in there with another blending brush and blending out some more of that navy blue shimmery color in the crease just to give my eyes a little more definition and a, a very cat eye type of shape. So I'm dragging that product out. And now I'm putting a little concealer on my lids and I'm applying this metallic light blue color on my lids kind of doing a halo but it kind of didn't turn out like a halo so but i do still like it a lot how it turned out um i'm just going back in there and blending out any harsh edges i may have with that navy blue color okay just like so and the colors i'm using um the navy blue and the light blue is actually from morphe brushes i use this palette in a lot of my tutorials and I'm going back in there with that transition color that brown tone at the very top trying to blend everything out nice and neatly so I'll be using the infallible pro glow in the color caramel beige and I'll be using a beauty blender and just kind of patting that into my skin and I will pat that all over my skin if you haven't noticed half of my face is already done so I did this to the opposite side I'll be using that Tim 2 shimmer bronzer I'm um, just adding that to my skin as well just to give myself a natural baked glow and as you can tell I did my liner and I put my lashes on off camera I had so much drama with my liner today honey I cannot even begin I am using the Laura Geller The Real Deal Concealer in the color medium, which is my all-time fave. I mentioned this concealer in almost every one of my videos, and I'm using just a uh, brush to pat that into my skin, and then I'll be going in there with a beauty blender and kind of blending everything out very nice and neat. All right, and now I am using the Airspun Loose Powder on my face just to bake my face. And then I am brushing that all away. I do not let it uh, sit on my face too long um, because I do have combination skin. My face can get really, really dry. So I just put it on there and kind of brush it off immediately. <laughs> 
And I will be using the Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Marula as my contour today. Um, this used to be my favorite contour uh, color and I'm not sure why I stopped using it. I probably got a new product, you know how that stuff goes. But this is one of my faves. And I'm taking that Air Spun Loose Powder with a wedge sponge and I am snatching my cheeks, honey, if you can't see. And I always do a little curve at the end just to give myself a natural like smile. And now I'm brushing that all away. And let me have my moment because I am definitely bringing the drama right now. Um, I am putting on my glow kit in the color Moonstone by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I am glowing up my life as usual. My life definitely needs to be glowed. <laughs> glowed. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking that navy blue color and I'm putting it underneath my eyes and just kind of blending that out. I'll also be taking this liner by Hakari and putting that on the uh, rim of my eye, not the waterline. And I'll be applying some of this Douse Mascara um, to my bottom lashes. And this is a volume volumizer. <laughs> Did I say that right? I think so. Um, I'm also putting that color Moonstone from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in my inner corners, honey, to give my face so much life. Mm -hmm. And I'll be taking that uh, Black Radiance Press Powder and contouring my nose as well because I want my nose to look a little bit slimmer. And then I'm just kind of pressing that in so there's no harsh lines. And I'm applying just a small amount of blush to my cheeks. I did put some mascara on my upper lashes and I did take a clean blending brush and just kind of blend, blended out the top portion of my eyes. Whew. So I will be using the MBA Cosmetics Lip Paint in the color Breathless. And I will be applying that all over my lips with a lip brush. And I've actually had this lip paint for about a year and a half now, and I have never tried it. Can you believe that? Never tried it. So today was the perfect day, cause I'm doing blues. So I was like, let me go ahead and try this deep dark blue lip paint. And it actually turned out really wonderful. I like it. Very vampy, very fall. And to make my lipstick a glitter lipstick, I'll be going in there with this Wet n Wild color icon. Um, it's like a gel glitter in the color Distortion. It's actually like a blue shimmer color, like blue glitter. And I'm just applying that all over my lip. Now I'm spraying the NYX Fini Matte. 